supersonic. Yo, so what is going on guys? My name is Vortex and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm showing you guys how you can create this outfit on screen. It's the Arctic Camo one, it has checkerboard pants as you can see. It's got a t-shirt with a black long sleeve shirt underneath it. It's got a torn effect on it as well, it has checkerboard shoes and this outfit does look really nice. I do keep on getting messages on PlayStation in the comments requesting this outfit combination so i'm bringing it to you guys today i was supposed to upload it yesterday but i just crashed i got so tired i don't know why but if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video a like down below would be highly appreciated as it shows your support towards the channel and it shows that you enjoyed the video and please subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one as i upload daily gta 5 online videos but with all that said then guys let's hop straight into the video Alright then guys, so to start this outfit off, you want to come to any clothes store on the map on your female character and you want to go to the top section. And you just want to go to sports jackets and you want to put on this geometric bigness puffer. And now once you've put that on, you want to stay in the top section, you want to go down to bust ears and you want to put on the white lace bust ear. And now once you've put that on, you can go to the pants section, you want to go to jeans and you want to put on the black crop. And now once you put those on guys, you just want to head over to the shoe section. You want to go to high heels and you want to put on the charcoal platform. And now for accessories guys, all I have on this outfit is some black woolen gloves. So you can choose whatever you want to put on it, but I only have black woolen gloves on this outfit. And for glasses, I've got copper marbles in the casual section. And for the hat, it's called the swallow cap. It gives you the hat backwards on your male character. And now once you've created that outfit guys, you just want to save that and now you're ready to do the transfer glitch. So to start this glitch off guys, you want to go outside the clothes store, you want to press your options button on your controller, go to online and go to swap character. And you just want to swap to your male character. Now when you guys do spawn in on your male character, what you want to do is hold down on your d-pad, go to Franklin in story mode and just load into story mode. Now when you guys spawn in story mode, you want to press your pause menu and you want to go to Rockstar Editor. Now inside the Rockstar Editor, you just want to select Director Mode. Now when this screen pops up, you want to go to Actors, go to Online Characters and select GTA Online 1, which should be your male character. If your male character is in Online 2, just make sure you select your male character. Now when you've been in Director Mode for a couple of seconds, you just want to hold down on your D-pad and return to the trailer. Now as soon as this screen pops up guys where it says GTA Online 1 and 2, you just want to press your PlayStation button, go down on the GTA application, go to activities and you want to find something like your friend has claimed a bounty, bought a new vehicle, as long as it allows you to get back online once you've clicked it and it says start GTA Online. Stay. So just select start GTA Online and at this error message press circle. And you want to back out of the GTA Online 1 and 2 screen and select special characters and then select Jesse. Now you just want to hold your interaction menu, press up on the D-pad 5 times and click X. And then press up on the D-pad 1 more time and click X again. And as you guys can see, you're in a glitched out director mode. Now once you've been in there for a couple of seconds, go to online and click join friends. And as soon as you've clicked join friends, double tap your PlayStation button and it'll bring you back to the screen we was just at where it said start GTA Online and you just want to click start GTA online for a second time and now you just want to load into online again now when you load into online what you want to do is go to online in your pause menu and click swap character and now at this screen guys you want to select your female character and wait for it to greet you with an error message So as you guys can see, I got this error message, it should say timed out locate in session. Just press X on that alert message and load into story mode. Now when you load into story mode, all you wanna do is close down your application. And now just start it back up. And as soon as you see this image of the girl doing the peace sign disappear, you want to hold L1 and R1. Now what that's gonna allow you to do is get back online. Cause if you don't do this, it will keep on saying fail to get your save data from the cloud servers and you will have to hold L1 and R1 to solve it. 
So as you guys can see, I've got this message. You just wanna press X on that message and keep on loading into story mode. Now, when you guys load into story mode, just press your options button, go to online and go into any session. It doesn't matter. Now you guys are gonna get this pop-up. You just wanna tick the box and click submit and keep on loading into online. Now, as you guys can see, I'm gonna spawn in online. Guys, all you have to do is scroll through your outfits and you guys will see that you have the outfit that we just created. Now, if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, a like down below would be highly appreciated. But until next time, guys, my name has been Vortex and thank you all so much for watching this video. Peace out.